this space contains the kinds of space that no other academic library in Virginia has. Go in the revolving doors and you're in a, um, a large lobby. We have a glass enclosed two-story atrium that attaches to the Starbucks. So we have a gigantic new Starbucks that is four times the size of what we had before. And attached to it is this wonderful glass enclosed atrium. I think it's gonna be a wonderful space for students to get their coffee, sit out there, talk, see all their friends going by, and a great place for people to get together to meet and to work. These are collaborative floors, so they will not be quiet. Um, there'll be a lot of people talking and working together. So they're all um, student workspaces, and we also have a lot of uh, group study rooms on these floors as well. The third floor, we get into a quiet area where we have our third floor terrace, an outdoor space that we use for receptions, but when we're not using it, it's open to students around the clock. But the rest of that area is, is a, mostly is designed for students working together and quiet study. One is this reading porch where we're sitting. It's designed for people to sit in the rocking chairs and in the wicker furniture and feel like they're outdoors. We can open the windows. It's an inviting space for people to relax and read. When you walk up to the fourth floor, the very best space with the very best views, we have reserved the most of that floor for our faculty and graduate students. And the lower level of the library, we have spaces that are completely dedicated to media and technology. So we have the best state-of-the-art media editing rooms, media equipment, um, and high-end computers for the kind of work that students do today. This is not the 21st century library. This is not the library of the future. This is the library of VCU today. And that's what we meant it to be.